In this video, we're going to take a look at parent functions. There's four families of functions that we're interested in here. Uh, the first one is the linear functions. And we can identify linear functions by if their graph is just a straight line, that's a linear function. Also notice that the power of the x is just 1. So it's just x sitting there all by itself. That's going to give us a linear function. A quadratic function, excuse me, a quadratic function is one that has an x squared. Notice it turns out to be a parabola. A cubic function has, uh, amazingly enough, a cube term. Gives us this little sort of squiggle thing. And finally, the square root function is the square root, of course, and it gives us sort of a half a parabola on its side. Well, it turns out that if we would put a negative in here, these we can't use because we can't take a negative square root without using imaginary numbers. We're not going to do that, so here's what this graph of the square root looks like. Also notice, all of these functions in their most basic forms go through the origin, the point zero, zero. So we can use that to help us know what's happening from the parent function to get to another function that's a translation of it or a transformation of it. So let's first of all take a look at this one. We have h of x equals the square root of x plus 4. Well, we know that it belongs to the square root family because we have that square root going on. If we graph it, turns out that the original the original function is this square root one right here the green one and our function right here the square root of x plus 4 ends up over here well how did we get from the green one to the red one we moved it four units to the left so that's what happens in this one to get from one to the other the family of the next one if we look We've got that cube right there, so it must be a cubic function. Let's see what it looks like when we graph it. If we graph it, our original one is going to be the green one right here. And to get to our red one, which is this x to the x minus 4, and that quantity cubed, that is moved over 4 units to the, to the right. So notice what's happening here. If we we can kind of start to get a feel for uh, what's going on to get that 4 to the right. In this case, we subtracted 4. And finally, if we look at this last one, the squared term is there, so it must be a quadratic function. It starts out the basic quadratic function is the green one, and this one is being stretched to get us to the red one. They're still both at the origin, so it's not being slid, but it's being stretched. It's being multiplied by 4 to get us to that red one. Let's take a look at a, a couple other situations where we're given some points and then asked to find what uh, parent function that is. In this first one, if we go ahead and graph those points, what we're going to find is that it looks a little something like this. Well, what is that? Turns out that that looks a lot like a parabola to me. If we would connect the dots in there, we would find a parabola. And how does it compare to the parent? Well, it slid down 3. So it's the parabola, and it slid down 3. Finally, we have this set of ordered pairs. If we graph that, turns out that it looks like this. Well, that looks a lot like, let's flip back here looks a lot like that cubic function so that's cubic remember the cubic all of the ones that we we're looking at go through the origin so this is slid down one so it's a cubic function move down one again parent functions we have the four we can identify them by looking at the power of the x what's going on with that x and then we can compare a function to the parent to see what's going on. How did we get from the parent to that one? What transformation is being applied? Hope this was helpful. Best of luck.